Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video, it is that time of the month again. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't mean that time of the month. I mean the time of the month when we get to unbox our video games monthly box, unboxing, box, box, unboxing for the month of July 2020. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Now, before we get started, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out our video that we have here today. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, including previous month's unboxings from Video Games Monthly. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. And what I want to know from you, if you had the opportunity, would you collect import games? I have got a lot of import games. It's really fun, especially with systems like the Famicom and the Super Famicom, where you can go ahead and get those and import them in now, especially with the Famicom disk system. I love the Famicom disk system. So this is our July monthly unboxing for Video Games Monthly. And if you are not familiar what this program and how it works basically it's a monthly subscription service where for you know $35 and up per month you can get a selection and collection of video games sent right to your door they have everything from NES Famicom Super Famicom Super NES up into like the Wii U the 360 and the PS3 I believe the PS3 is on there I know the Wii U is on there um, so it's a really neat service this is my fourth or fifth month now that I've had this and one of the cool things is every month that I've been subscribed to them I've actually gotten more than what I've paid for in terms of games I am at the tier where I would normally get three games a month every month I've gotten at least four we're going to check and see what we have inside this box because there's nothing rattling around that tells me there is a lot of stuff in here. Let's hit the bench. Ooh, that's got some interesting stuff right on top. Congratulations, you have beaten a great game. Wait, no. Congratulations, you are the proud owner of this month's partner pack. So four different folks there from Video Games Monthly. Your box was packed by the partners of Video Games Monthly with games they enjoy. Thanks, guys. Ho oh, ho! Eat your heart out back in the day, gamer. We didn't get a one up this month, we got a two. So we got two additional games in uh, beyond what I normally subscribe to. Let's see, this should be our normal. Make sure you, this is our regular, make sure you update your library uh, reminder and everything. That's something that you need to do if you do have this service. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a me, Mario. Here we go. Very cool decals there. Little postcard here from Old School Gamer Magazine. Three ways to get uh, Old School Gamer. A free 24 page digital mini version. A full length 48 to 64 page digital subscribers version for 10 bucks a year. Or the full print version plus the digital version for 30 a year. Um, if, if you are a fan of physical um, magazines and whatnot, this is actually a really nice publication. I've gotten it at a couple different shows. And uh, you can get a free retro keychain right now, too. So go to oldschoolgamer.com slash subscriber today to start getting your bi-monthly power-up featuring the best in retro gaming writing. Ooh, we have some good stuff. The first one, we're going to go international. <laughs> We've got one of the Goemon games from Konami for the N64. So this is Ganbear Goemon Neo Mo Momo Yama. Oh, dear Lord, it's the Momo Challenge. Mystical Ninja. I'm wondering if this is the very first game in the Mystical uh, Ninja series. I, I don't think, again, I don't think I've got any of these in my collection, uh, but I'll have to double check. I, You know what? I think I had one, and I may have given it to Sean Long. Uh, I know I sent him some stuff just three years ago, so very cool. Legend of the Mystical Ninja. We have a Genesis game. This is Cap Attack. Um, looks like you're a mummy that you lose your head. Oh, this box is on fire. You've got NBA Jam. This is the standard edition. Now, I do have a copy of this already, but this is a much better looking label than my existing copy. Um, and we'll open these guys up in a minute and clean them out and everything uh, once we get through here. Ooh, sealed Wii game. Guilty party. Mystery fun for everyone. 
and let's take a look on the back. You are the detective. Can you find the guilty party? You, your friends and family will need wits and reflexes to crack the case and find out who done it. A new Wii game. Oh, it's, it's a Disney game actually too. Um, most of the Disney games actually were pretty good for the Wii. Ooh, first GameCube game from Video Games Monthly for me. This is Hot Wheels World Race and game only, but let's check the condition of the disc. I may have eight live action games, just give this a quick run through his resurfacing machine, but that's not in bad shape at all and the yeah, pretty good there. So for some, this would be the best in the box for me, trade bait. Not a fan of RPGs, let's see again. So no manual, a couple light scratches on this one, but not too bad. Um, I've just never been a fan of Final Fantasy. Uh, and this is the greatest hits version, so, uh, <laughs> so it already had, I wonder if it, no, it doesn't tell me what store that this came from, uh, but that's funny that it does have that sticker on there. All right, so let us open up the games, the cartridges, and see how they look. So we're gonna start with NBA Jam, and for this you need a, what is this, it's a 3.8 millimeter, security bit some people call it a game bit i have one that i can put right in my hitachi drill driver here i'll have a link to where you can get this uh, down in the more info section i also have just the manual ones here too now last month's came through really clean and i was happy about that this one definitely shows some sign of of dirt but it's not terrible so what we're going to do is we are just going to uh Hit it with our 1UP card. You know, congratulations to, to Adam from 1UP card. If you're not following him on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you should. Uh, they are in the process of moving into a new facility. So very exciting for Adam and the entire 1UP family. That actually looks really good already. Yeah, so there you can see the pins are in, in pretty decent shape. Not too shabby at all. I'll go through, we'll just dry them off a little bit here. Now these 1UP cleaning cards uh, I ordered uh, for myself to go ahead and, and use basically to help promote the channel. He has some cool ones he's just recently come out with, uh, teamed up with the guys from the Angry Video Game Nerd and Cinemassacre. Definitely something if you're a fan you'll want to check out as, uh, uh, was it the 10 year anniversary or some anniversary that they're celebrating that he is doing commemorative 1UP cleaning cards for. So definitely check that out and we will get this tightened down. So generally what I will do is I will use the electric screwdriver to open a game, but I will close it by hand so I don't strip it out and these actually feel like they're stripped out already. So set NBA Jam aside. Let's take a look at going on. Oh! Oh! Jerks! This uses the same 3.8 millimeter game bit here. Now the N64 cartridge has a, an RF shield on the inside which can throw people for a loop when you first open one of these up. And to clean this you don't need to take off or open up the case like I'm doing. I'm doing it just so you can see the pins easier. A uh, little bit of crud right there. I might actually use a little bit of Bright Boy to try to pull that off. Um, and then, oh I forgot there's a Phillips head screwdriver keeping that on. And then there's also a plastic tray here that uh, kind of keeps everything aligned. If you look right here, there's something kind of hung on there, so I'll make sure I clean that as well. Those also don't look terrible, but they do need cleaning. The back, same kind of thing. So again, we'll take our 1UP cleaning card. We've still got fluid on it from the previous cartridge. You can use these over and over and over again, and you can even kind of refresh them and rejuvenate them using like dish soap from what I understand or they're pretty inexpensive, so I just replace them, generally speaking. And that's the nice thing, is the fact that these do a good job at getting you clean, and uh, you don't have to do a whole lot of work, generally speaking. Now I do have, this is called Absolute Force. It is um, very similar to a simple green, I would say. And I'm gonna use this just to clean off that little bit of whatever that goo is on the pin connector here. Almost looks like a booger, quite honestly. It's gross. A little PSA, do not blow your nose 
on your video game cartridges, the more you know. Put that back in. And then we will pop our RF shield back in. Nintendo loves them some RF shields, I'll tell you that. And I don't know if you noticed there, but I actually unscrewed, and you guys will hear me say this frequently here, unscrew before you start screwing in. What it does is it sets the threads of the screw into the threads of the molded composite. That way you are not cutting new threads, but screwing into what is already there. Put that like that. We've already got one of our security bits is in the driver. Now, that absolute force that you saw me use there, um, I actually think it's been discontinued. I've got several bottles I still use, but that's also good to use to clean up like the gunk on the outside of the cartridges here, like what you're seeing here. That That's pretty good to, to get that off of there. I'm gonna leave those stickers on, just I don't wanna tear it. Uh, but going on, looks good. Our final one of the video is decap attack. Now, Genesis cartridges, actually use a larger, I believe it's a 4.3 millimeter bit. So that's what we have here. It's the same as what the Super Nintendo uses on the system. And again, I mean, there's signs of wear and everything, but overall those pins look pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy at the conditions uh, of these pins. These are better than what I would get at a lot of different conventions. Uh, so good on Video Games Monthly, I know that I kind of ragged on them in the first couple months videos uh, that the games were needing clean. I remember there was one, the the baseball game, I had to Bright Boy, had to, would not read otherwise. Uh, but everything else has been, you know, just like this, real light cleaning takes care of it. Chips go face down. I meant to do that. There's no tabs on this guy. And that is a coarse thread screw, so it should scrim pretty pretty quickly and there's two and decap attack is clean pretty clean games this month let's wrap it up so all in all a pretty good selection of games in this july month from video games monthly um, the two up was really cool and getting the um what are they calling it here again it is the partners pack having that actually hand selected from someone at video games monthly pretty cool that these are actually someone's own personal favorite games. I love the fact that the Goemon game is in there. The Legend of the Mystical Ninja is a great series and the fact that I have one in my collection now, um, I don't think I've got one already. So uh, interesting to see that. Decap Attack, I think I've heard of it before. I gotta check some more into it. I've heard it, I think I've heard that it's a pretty decent game. And NBA Jam, I mean, come on, it's NBA Jam. Now it's actually a better conditioned version than the one I already have. So I have a version that's trade bait now, and that's awesome. Uh, a sealed Wii game and Guilty Party. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be like Clue. Uh, Hot Wheels World Race. It is my first GameCube game from Video Games Monthly. And Final Fantasy X. Probably gonna offend some people, but it'll be trade bait for me. I'm just not a role-playing game fan. I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so that'll be something that gets trade baited. The Mario and Mario and Yoshi stickers were really, really cool. Overall, a really good box. And like I say, with the two up, I was kind of bummed out that it wasn't a one up, but it is a two up. Unlike what uh, back in the day, gamer get a whole lot of nothing, did you buddy? Um, if you haven't already checked out Back in the Day Gamer, definitely check him out. Uh, he's got brews, he's got games, he's got a good presentation. Definitely go ahead and check him out there. Um, what do you think of this collection of games? Do you think it was worth it? Or do you think that it's something that's kinda meh? I think there's a good balance here myself, but let me know down in the comments. Also, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, if you wanna help the future of Rock Solid Productions so we can keep doing things like this, keep doing video games, monthly unboxings, get new cables, get new lights, get new microphones, get new attenuators so the microphone sounds better. Hopefully again, the microphone sounds a lot better than in some previous videos that we've had. Do me a favor, there's three different ways now you can go ahead and help us out. First and foremost, head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. 
for as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year. You can get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can become a channel member now too. We have that information down below in the more info section and a pin post. Channel memberships start as low as $1.99 a month. And you can also head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more, all featuring the Rocksaw Productions logo on a different retro style cartridge. Uh, pretty cool. I've got to order some stuff for myself with we're about halfway through summer. I want a new hoodie for the fall, so uh, looking forward to that. And then like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Let me know down in the comments, would you collect import games if you could? And finally, if you are looking to pick up cleaning accessories like the 1UP cleaning cards that I showed you here today with these games, head on over to castlemaniagames.com. The cool thing over there, you've heard me talk about in the past, Castle Cash. It is his loyalty program and his rewards program where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases. Castle Cash is just like cash, so it is always valid. There is no blackouts, there is no lockouts. You can always utilize it. Now you can also use promo code ROCKSOLID10 to save 10% off of most items on the website. It'll let you know right in checkout if it is applicable to that or not. Um, thanks to our new channel members that we do have here on the channel. Thanks to our new Patreons and everything. And thank you for watching us here with our monthly video games monthly unboxing for July 2020. I am Gary and this has been Rock Solid Productions. I thank you for watching and I really hope to see you soon.